What's up, everybody? Um, I'm back, you know, fucking, um, I uploaded my payback prediction video. Oh, what the fuck? But, <laughs> but yeah, I just uploaded that video, you know, check that shit out. Check out my other video of CM Punk is returning to television. He will be on his new show called A Challenge on MTV. So, I'm excited as hell for that, you know, because I'm a huge CM Punk fan. But follow me on fucking Twitter and Instagram, you know. My Instagram, I am at 150 something followers. I my goal is to get 169 followers. On Twitter, I'm at 320 23 followers, you know. So I'm trying to get that up too, you know. I'm trying to get get like at least 500 followers before um SummerSlam. Well, that that would be great, but I don't think that's gonna happen, you know. But I'm hoping to get 500 followers by my birthday, you know, which is like on October 20th. But, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm always tweeting now, you know, I'm always tweeting now, you know, during um during when it's SmackDown and Raw, NXT, and then the WWE pay per views and shit like that. I'm always tweeting shit out. So yeah, follow me on that shit. But WWE is planning a huge rematch between Sami Zayn and Shinsuke Nakamura. Holy shit, dude! That would be fucking great, dude. Hopefully, after this feud between Ziggler and and Nakamura, you know, when that shit's done, this will be a good. This will be a great fucking feud for um Nakamura and Sami Zayn. You know, Sami Zayn, he's not he's not doing anything at all in SmackDown. He really isn't doing anything at all, too. So Nakamura, you know, after this feud between him and Ziggler, what's gonna ha what's next for him? You know, and really nothing. You know, but this will be fucking great. And I think the WWE is actually gonna do this, and I hope they fucking do this because their match that they had at NXT Takeover last year in 2016, dude, was fucking great, dude. That match, ha, it was definitely in the top three best match of 2016, dude. Definitely, dude. That was a great fucking match, dude. And Sami Zayn, man, he is so underrated, dude. I just hate the way he had WWE treating him. You know that. He should be in the main event scene, you know, and I, in the future he was, in the future he will be WWE champion, in the future he will be holding that fucking title, he will be, and we just gotta wait, but I don't know when, but I hope, I hope that fucking happens, cause he is fucking great, it will be foolish for WWE to not have him as, do, as WWE champion, but whatever, at NXT TakeOver Dallas, Sami Zayn and Nakamura, had one of the best matches in recent WWE history. Like I said, yes, obviously. The match say, served, as Zane, served as Zane's farewell to NXT, which would have been emotional enough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was his last night. It was his actually his last night. His last night in um NXT. So, that was another reason why the match was just fucking great. The whole atmosphere about it, and it was Nakamura's debate too, I believe. Wait, which would um. Im However, the match was also the debate of the King of Strong Style. Yeah, it was his debate too. So it was just, so it was just great, you know. Like the whole atmosphere was fucking great. The crowd was fucking great. The fucking match was fucking great. Anyone who has seen the match ag agrees it was something truly special. Since then, Zayn Zayn has been featured on the main roster as a strong. Babyface and Nakamura um dominated NXT. After the Superstar Shakeup, both men are on SmackDown, which gave WWE officials an idea. It's been reported from Sports Kita that WWE officials are looking at Nakamura vs Zayn 2 as a possibility sooner rather than later. Oh damn! It's unclear when they want to do it. Want to do their rematch, but the the brief is that the powers that be um are hoping to give them a chance to recapture the that magic. Nakamura versus Zayn two would have extremely high expectations. It would be a great match, but that's uh that's all on WWE officials want want to do. There is no rumored heel turns or prolonged feud for them. They just want to put them two men in a in a ring together and see what happens. Yes, 
Um, they they're, they don't need to be anyone doesn't no they don't need to turn heel. No one needs to turn heel in this match. Just put them in the fucking ring, and the match would be fucking great. And plus, heels. I don't think heel. I don't think there is a such thing as a heel anymore, man. I mean, AJ Styles is a heel. He gets fucking cheered. Kevin Owens is a heel. He gets cheered. Chris Jericho when he was a heel, he would get fucking cheered. Baron Corbin, I'm, yeah, people would cheer him. You know, I mean, who else? Fucking, I don't know. I can't think of anybody else. Oh, the revival. They're they're fucking heels. They get cheered enough. They get cheered. You know, everyone. So I don't think so. There's no such thing as a baby face and a fucking and a heel anymore, dude. To be honest, especially here, there's no such thing as a heel anymore. Roman Reigns is a is supposedly a fucking baby face, which he should be heel, but he, he gets fucking booed as baby face. You know, so there's no such thing as fucking baby faces and heels. To be honest, but but yeah, there's they don't need to be no them. They don't need to be no baby face. They're both baby faces. You know, none of them need to turn heel. Just put them both in the ring and. And let's just see fucking magic, dude. Let's just see fucking... Let's just see a great fucking match. Just put them together in the feud. I mean, in, in a match. And that's all they need to do. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a storyline. No one knows if this is going to be feud. But I'm pretty sure in the future, there's going to be more news about that. You know, like an update on this. On what the officials want to do with these two men. But... I, I wouldn't mind it like a feud, you know, like a little feud between these two, you know. They can have, you know, Zayn can win a couple times, Nakamura can win a couple times, you know. It will be fucking great for both. But, yeah. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be more news on that. Next fucking thing that um I'm going to be talking about is there's actually a movie being made for Vince McMahon. So that, that, sh- that should be interesting right there, dude. Um, drink some water. This is taking forever to load, but. Movie on Vince McMahon's career being filmed. Sony's Tire Star will be releasing a biopic based on the life of Vince McMahon in the near future. Meek Mahan. <laughs> the film entitled Pandanonium will be directed by Glenn Falcara and John Rica. Uh, it's fucking new, weird ass names. With a script written by Craig A. Williams, while the film is still in early stages of the deli- early stages, um, there is no ex- exact word on when the movie will be released. Oh, oh, that was it. That was, that was short, and it just says on the bottom. It just says on the bottom. We will keep you updated. But all right, so it's still in early stages of being filmed. You know, of the movie. No one knows when it's gonna be released, but. That's that should be interesting, you know. I don't know if it's, I don't know if this is gonna go straight to um, to the movie theater. Uh, that, dude, that would be big, dude. That would be actually pretty crazy, you know. Like a movie based on Vince McMahon going to the movie theater, you know. Like the movie actually going to movie theaters. But I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think it's just gonna be a thing. It probably just gonna go straight to DVD to be honest, and and onto Blu-ray. That's what I think. But that would be cool if it would go to the movie theaters, you know, to the theater. But once again, I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen because a lot of people don't know who Vince McMahon is, uh, and a lot of people aren't a fan of wrestling, you know. So like, I don't think a lot of people are gonna want to go watch that, you know. But I don't know. But but yeah, it's still in the early stages of being filmed. Uh, what's another thing here I can talk about? Our oh, our sense. We're talking about Meek Mahan. Um, let's talk about Meek Mahan's list of banned. WWE words revealed. Alright, so this is fucking crazy. If you're a fan of WWE, then you probably know that Vince Meek Mahan likes to do things his way. And there are certain words that he doesn't like the athletes or the broadcasters to use on WWE programming. For in- for instance, wrestling is referred as to sports entertainment. And wrestlers are referred to as superstars. I don't know why he does. I don't know why he does that. There are plenty of other words on on Meek Mahan's ban list. And Sports Keto recently got their hands on a memo from 2008, which details all the banned words. The la- the list reads as follows. So I'm gonna um. Holy shit, dude! That's a long ass. Wow, dude, that's a long ass list, but all right. So here are the words: belt, strap, the business, our industry, pro wrestling, pro wrestler, house shows, 
War, Performance, Performer, Sports Entertainment, DQ, US, Hospital, Faction, The Title is on the Line, Talent, Interesting, Shot, Backstage, Feud, Fans, Title Changing Hands. And that's it. That's so dumb, dude. I don't know why. You know, like belt, you know, like like a fucking belt. It's a fucking belt, you know. They can't call it a belt. They got to call it either a championship or a title, you know. And they can't, and they can't call it a strap, too, you know. But it's, it, it's a fucking belt. It goes around your fucking waist, dude. So it, it's dumb, you know. And fucking... And pro wrestling, you know, it, it's we're watching pro wrestling, you know, and but they're not allowed to say that. They're not allowed to say that shit, and they're not allowed to say pro wrestlers. People that we see on there, they're pro fucking wrestlers, you know. It's dumb. I don't know why he has these fucking these band words, you know, sports and sports entertainment. They're not allowed to say that talent. The fucking talent, you know, the people that go out there, they're fucking talent. They're not allowed to say that. I don't know. I find this it, it's fucking dumb how. He doesn't allow some. He doesn't allow anyone to use those use those words, but I find it fucking dumb. Um, but yeah, whatever. Cody Rhodes reveals WWE's plans for him post brand split. Premier to asking for his release from WWE. The com- the company had plans at one point for Cody Rhodes. To portray Stardust on one brand and Cody on the other. That's fucking dumb. While speaking to 107.7, the bone is San Francisco. In front and in, in San Francisco, Cody said that those were the plans for him in the brand split. However, one person in particular didn't approve of it. So I'm gonna quote exactly what he said in this podcast or on the show, whatever. At one point, the plan was for me to be Stardust on one brand and Cody Rhodes on an, on another brand. I thought that was a really great idea. Yeah, I actually, I actually, I don't know. Absolutely, absolutely, I wanted to do it. Everybody wanted to do it, ex- expe- except for one person who will remain nameless. But that one person has the main vote. And I quote: "I wonder who was." So everyone else, you know, all the officials thought it was a great idea for Cody Rhodes, but there was one person who said no, and that one person is is the main vote, you know, like that's the only opinion that matters, and that was probably Vince McMahon, probably. But yeah, so yeah, so those those were the plans for him, for him on if he would have stayed in WWE, if he would have, you know, I I think that would have been a great idea to be honest, you know. I think that that would be kind of interesting too. That that would be interesting actually. You know that Starlos on one brand and Cody Rhodes on another brand. What the fuck. But yeah, that would have been quite interesting, to be honest. But, but yeah. But now now he's around the world. You know now he's a Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling and he's with fuck and he's in the fucking Bullet Club too. So, so yeah, he's happy. You know he's he's only thirty years old. He is a fuck. He he's young as hell too. He's still he's still young. Um. You know, I'm happy for him. You know, he's found he's found success outside of WWE. He has, and he's on the Bullet Club. You know, he's he's doing fucking great. Um, let's talk about his next um story here. How long have I been recording for? Um, thirteen minutes. Damn. Just taking forever. What the fuck, dude? My God. It's taking so fucking long. Oh my god, it's, it's taking so fucking long, dude. Uh, fuck it, I'll just pull it up here on my laptop, actually. Because I'm, I'm recording my laptop. Oh, no, my god, I, got, I got it up. I got it up. Um. Alright, so here we go, I got it. Just my phone just being so slow. Dude, my I hate this phone so much. All right, NXT wrestler. My f- whatever, dude. I'm gonna do here on my phone. I mean, here on my laptop. Oh shit. Uh, NXT. Oh. WWE releases NXT wrestler. NXT wrestler Chris 
Ankins is no longer with WWE as the company recently released him. Um, Ryan Satin of Pro Wrestling Sheet was the first report was the first to report the news. There's no word yet on what led to his release from WWE, but he signed with the company in 2015 after attending a tryout. However, he was used sparingly at live events and TV tapings. He last wrestled earlier this month in a singles match against only Lokren at NXT live event. As of this writing, Ankins is has yet to comment on his release. Um, I'm not really, dude. I I haven't been watching NXT at all lately. You know, I really fuck. I need to start watch. I don't know why. I don't watch NXT at all. I I don't know why. I'm such a fucking retard, dude. I don't watch NXT at all. I don't know why I don't. It's fucking obviously the better show out of SmackDown and Raw. You know, the fucking pay per views of NXT. I watch. I, I watch the takeovers. You know, I know. But like, yeah. But I'm not. I don't. I don't really know this guy at all. So, but yeah, he got released. And speaking about released. Um, I forgot about this, but WWE, they've actually been, they, they've been releasing a lot of people lately, I heard. And if I can find the article here, which I, I can't fucking find it all for some reason, but I can't find it. But alright, I guess I'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. But yeah, they've been releasing a, a whole bunch of talent, you know, so maybe because of them, you know, because. So they've just been releasing a lot of talent, so, so maybe it was just one of those people who got released. But, but yeah, what else can we talk about here? Um, let's talk about Baron Corbin real quick. Baron Corbin, alright, so, Baron Corbin fined and suspended, you know. So, so when I, when, cause today when I was at the gym, you know, I opened up my, um, I opened up Facebook. And I seen that it said Baron Corbin fined and suspended. I was like, what the fuck, dude? I was like, shocked. I was like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck did he do? Like, what, I was like, what the heck? Why did he get fined and why is it suspended? And then when I read the article, I was like, oh, okay, never mind. But all right, so at the end of this week's Talking Smack on the, on the network, Baron Corbin attacked Sami Zayn. WWE officials came out, came out, came in to separate, the, separate them. And Corbin shoved one of them. So he shoved one of the officials. Shane McMahon announced on Viva Twitter that Corbin has been fined and suspended for one week for his actions. Obviously, this is all part of the storyline. And they are slowly building Corbin up to, to be a top heel on the brand. Eventually, he will be programmed in a top feud for a WWE Championship. I like the idea for of suspending um, superstars. For attacking officials. They've never been consistent with with that in the past. So hopefully they'll do the, so hopefully they'll do this going forward whenever there's an attack on a non Twitter. I mean I mean I mean on a non wrestler. But yeah, so that was like that's what the guy said like who made his article, you know, who works for this fucking whatever. But yeah. And I agree with this guy or this girl, whoever the fuck wrote this shit. But yeah, I agree with this person, you know. I like that shit, you know, hopefully so yeah, so on Shane McMahon, so on Twitter, Shane McMahon was like, it's never acceptable for an athlete to, an athlete in any sport to put their hands on an official at WWE is no expectation at Baron Corbin WWE actions. And he also said, again, on Twitter, I mean on hashtag talking smack, we're an irresponsible and unprofessional. He was Ben. He has been fined and suspended for one week, invectively and immediately. Hashtag SmackDown Live. But yeah, so that's what, this is obviously all part of the storyline, like it's an article. Uh, I hope it gets over, I hope it gets, I hope this gets over. And this is slowly putting Baron Corbin up to the main, up to the fucking main, um, to the main, um, fucking, main, main event scene, you know. And, in the, and yeah, but I like, I like the idea, you know, I don't mind it at all. But I just hope I'm making it over with the damn crowd, you know, which it should be. So, all right. So, let's talk about um next article. WWE Championship match already being promoted for Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Um, it appears that Rusev will be making his in-ring return at Monday's in the... Wait, he will be making his return at Money in the Bank pay-per-view event on June 18th. 
at the Scott Trade Center in St. Louis. He has been out of action since mid-February after undergoing sur- shoulder surgery. His last match took place at Fastlane pay-per-view event where he lost to the Big Show. He was traded to SmackDown Live during the Superstar Shakeup. Rusev cut a promo at SmackDown Live on Tuesday night and stated that he was not wrestled. He has not wrestled on SmackDown Live. He, um, yeah, because, yeah, because he does not like SmackDown Commissioner Shane McMahon and SmackDown General Manager Daniel Bryan. He noted that the he noted that the only way he would wrestle for them is if they give him a WWE Championship match at Money in the Bank. Oh. <laughs> Um, WWE added several, oh, oh yeah, oh that was it, so, but yeah, so, he made a video and he demanded for them to give him a WWE Championship match at Money in the Bank or else he leaves back to his fucking country in Russia, you know, like, to Russia, to fucking, um, Russia or whatever, but, um, this is obviously gonna be fucking a lengthy fucking feud, you know, between him and Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan. You know, if they don't give him the fucking damn ch- championship match, title shot, whatever, he'll fucking leave, apparently. But, for me, I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, am I in the bank? I don't know, but we'll see what happens. Don't really care, to be honest. I, I don't know what to really say about that. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna end it there. I'll talk about more shit about tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow and tomorrow's video, I'll talk about more shit, but, but yeah, um, that's it for this fucking video, make sure you follow me on Twitter, and Instagram too, you know, please follow me on Twitter, and Instagram, you know, if you wanna, I'm always tweeting, like I said, you know, I'm all, every once in a while, every once in a while, I'm always uploading pictures on Instagram, and Logic, he's dropping a new song from his album, Everybody, and he's dropping a new song tomorrow night, so, I'm excited for that. But yeah, I just had to talk about that. But yeah, I'm um, um good. Dude, I don't know what to say for these outros. Dude, I re- these outros are so awkward because I have no clue what the fuck to say. So I'm just gonna end it.